I guess Phil is, is you know, kind of like me, uh, a bit intellectually defended, and he uses his humor to kind of rebuff. The, the you know, what I, I have been saying about this novel is that it's, you know, my semi-autobiographical novel that... Um, it's about a writer who squanders his talents in television, drinks too much, uh, you know, screws around, ruins his marriage. And the reason it's semi-autobiographical is his name is Phil. So. <laughs> uh, well, Phil McQuig has, uh, when, we've, when he starts writing the book, and it's all written, you know, I'm trying to follow the process of his creation of the book, and his life has fallen completely apart. Um, he... Uh, has there's been a uh, what's the word a scandal or a, uh, something bad has happened at work? He's a television producer, and that is kind of a mystery that emerges throughout the book. What's taken place? His marriage has fallen apart. Um, he's taken to to drinking excessively, and he lives in a little uh, squalid bedsit, as he calls it, and, uh, is trying, well, I was going to say he's trying to cope, but that's not very accurate. He's sort of allowing himself not to cope, and his, his one kind of, uh, the straw he's clutching at is his, uh, ab you know, that if he writes this novel, people will at least understand him, and, uh, uh, a credit to him, a little humanity, which I guess is, at the beginning, he feels that he's, he's lost. Mm -hmm.